Hello everyone, welcome to Learning Wise and I'm your host Kamlesh Sharma. As you can see, this is your chapter number 7, Formulas and Functions uh, in MS Axel. And we are on page number 107. Today, I want to take you to this lab activity and uh, we are going to do this. Uh, we are going to complete this lab activity in this tutorial, right? So let's first look at the question. Your question says create the following worksheet which has the roll number, name, maths, English, social studies, computer, marks. Okay. So we have eight entries in this table and what we have to do, we have to find out the total, then average, then subject wise average. Okay. That means uh, here you are going to find out the total and average student wise. And here at the bottom, you have to find out the average subject wise. Okay. So maths average, English average, social studies average, computer average like that. And at the bottom, that means uh, below the subject wise average, you have to find out the highest total and the lowest total. All right. So let me just read out these points for you. Then we'll actually do this in Microsoft Excel. So first point says select the first cell of the total column and calculate the total marks secured by the first student using AutoSum feature. Okay, so total we have to find out using the AutoSum. Copy the formula using AutoFill handle to calculate total marks of other students, right? So that means the first we have to find out the total for one child, which is your first student, Rahul. And after that, no need to calculate it for every other child. You have to use the autofill handle, right? Then point number third says, calculate the average marks of each student. So here for the average also, you have the average function, which we will use. The next point says, calculate subject wise average of the class. Okay, so we'll find out the subject wise average here for the entire class. Then the next one says using the built-in function find out the highest total and the lowest total in the class so here at the bottom we will find out the highest total and the lowest total for the entire class okay finally save the worksheet as marks and close ms axel all right so this is a very simple activity now let me take you to microsoft excel and we are going to create this table step by step okay so follow me here I'm going to write down this is your MS Excel as you can see and uh, I, I have already opened it so I'm writing this roll number then name then maths then English uh, sorry English then social studies then computer Then total and average. Okay. Let me make it a little. I have changed the height of this. After that, I am putting the eight roll numbers here. Okay. Now, see, I have written two roll numbers. I am selecting them. I am coming to this right edge where the the cursor changes to the find, find plus sign. This is the autofill handle. Right. Then drag it. All right. So as you can see, I have entered the entire values here. Okay. I have um, created this table. It is same as this one. Right. Now, first I'm going to increase the zoom so that it is clearly visible to you. Then here we have to write down the average average no it is subject wise average subject wise average and below that we have the highest total and here we have the lowest total right Okay, so we are done with our table creation. Now let us format it. The first thing which is mentioned in your table is, you know, you have to color it yellow and then this uh, top 
row is bold and we have got the uh, the table border also right so i'm giving a border then i'm changing its color to let's say yellow and let us change this top row and let's see let's say this is the color okay i'm applying the same color here okay i'm i'm using the merge and center here okay although these are three separate cells we don't want them to be three separate cells so select the three cells go to merge and center and it will be merged for you right then same thing for this highest total merge it so that it becomes one single cell and this is a single cell only because we increase the uh, the the width of this column right now i am using this uh, bold feature okay same thing for uh, these three things see what i'm doing is i'm using the control key to select the three cells together and then i'm going to this bold all right i forgot to color this so i'm coloring these two cells as well right so now our table is absolutely ready you can match up with this uh, thing okay this this top row color may be a little different but uh, that's okay because the the this question focuses more on the functions and formulas rather than formatting so we will focus uh, on that only now let's talk about how to find out total i have already told you that finding out total is very easy using a function okay so first you have to do is just a minute yeah one more thing everything is center line first let me center line everything for you okay select your table come to this uh, center line and here we go our content is center line okay so we are going to find out the total for the first student who's rahul right so you have to select the cells which contains the the marks of the four subject right so as you can see i have used the shift and arrow key or or you can drag your mouse okay and select this entire range and finally under the home tab you have this auto sum click on this arrow and select this sum here and that's it you can see that sum is available to you okay 301 is the uh, total of 50 70 89 and 92 right and what next you can double click on the cell and you can view the formula or the function which is used by ms excel so ms excel has used equals to sum and within double quotation marks you can see it is d3 colon g3 now where is d3 d3 is the cell okay which contains the marks of maths and where is g3 g3 is this cell which contains the marks of computer okay so colon tells you as i have already discussed this uh, in my previous videos colon tells you that this is one continuous selection of cells okay so that's the formula for you press enter and now no need to do this entire thing for the rest of the cells because we have this magical auto fill feature in excel select your formula cell okay select the cell which contains the result of the formula which is our h3 cell come to this right edge where the cursor changes into a fine plus sign this fine plus sign is basically the auto fill handler then drag it and that's it your formula will get filled in the subsequent cells okay so you can see that this 340 through 42 is the sum of marks of ashok okay 301 is the sum of the marks of kamal so on and so forth okay now let us find out the average for each student again we have to select all the cells okay after selecting the cells let us click on this auto sum arrow drop down arrow we call it drop down arrow then click on average and that's it okay you can see 75.25 is the average of rahul whose total marks is 301 okay 
now you can double click on the cell to see the uh, the formula used by microsoft excel it is equal to average within quote within brackets you have d3 colon g3 which is the range of cells so once your once the average for one child has been found now come to this right edge and drag it and that's it okay so you have found out the average for all the children now it's the time to go and find out the subject subject wise average oops i think we did something wrong here we should not have done this okay hum isko thoda sa increase kar lete hain that will be better and i am okay i'm changing this color back to yellow and let it be this thing yeah now it is absolutely correct okay now we have to find out the subject wise average so how do we do that for finding out the subject wise average subject wise average matlab subject ke according average nikale ek pure subject ki average nikal diye okay so we have to find out the average of maths similarly we have to find out the average for english then for social studies and finally for computers right so let's see how we can do select this range of cells okay using your uh, shift and arrow key or your mouse okay after selecting this range of cells come to this auto sum arrow and click on average simple okay now the average of maths marks of this eight students is 75.5 you can double click on this cell to check to see which formula is applied by microsoft excel so the formula is equal to average within brackets you you can see d3 colon d10 so this is this uh, range of cells which is uh, used for finding out the average okay we are pressing enter key now i'm selecting this cell once again because i want this average to be copied to these three different subjects also select this come to this right bottom edge once again and drag it that's it okay so you, you can see that this is the average for english similarly this is the average for social studies okay and you can see the range of cells okay this is dark highlighted border tells you i mean this gives you clarity which range is selected aisa to nahi hai ki koi aur range select ho gayi hai so this is also kind of cross checking for for you that uh, yeah this is the correct range this is the range which is selected for finding out the average okay now let us see this last one you can see that this is the range which is chosen for finding out the average of computer marks okay now we are done with the highest total now what is the meaning of highest total highest total for the entire class okay as it is written here using the inbuilt function find out the highest total and the lowest total in the class so that means we have to use this range okay which is the total of all the eight children and from this entire range of total marks we have to find the highest total or the lowest total okay just try to understand ye sare total hai in totals mein se in sare totals mein se jo sabse bada hai jo sabse highest hai wo highest total hai और इन सारे टोटल्स में से इन सारे आठ स्टूडेंट्स के टोटल्स में से जो सबसे लोएस्ट है वो लोएस्ट टोटल में आएगा राइट सो फॉर दिस वी विल यूज द मैक्स एंड मिन फंक्शन राइट आई एम गोइंग टू यूज दिस एज द फॉर्मूला हेयर जस्ट सी वॉट आई एम डूइंग सी आई सेलेक्टेड दिस सेल बिकॉज आई हैव टू शो द रिजल्ट हेयर ओनली देन आई एम प्रेसिंग इक्वल टू साइन after equal to i'm writing max max within bracket i'm going to choose this range because this is the range which i want to be uh, used to find out the maximum value okay after you have uh, selected the range of cells use the shift and arrow key sorry shift and bracket to close the bracket 
and finally press enter before pressing enter i'm reevaluating what what i have written see i have written equals to max max means maximum value find out karni hai theek hai so uske liye formula ya function hai fir bracket ke andar aap ya to individually number select karke de sakte hain ya fir aap pura range of cells de sakte hain i prefer choosing the range of cells kyunki hum ek 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 karke cells select karenge to wo time consuming hai but don't worry abhi main lowest cell ka jab find out karungi i will show you how you can do that also okay now enter and you can see that the highest total out of these totals is 342 right isn't it very simple and quick also now ek bar manually dekhte hain what should come as the lowest total okay so i think the lowest total has to be 301 right so lowest totals are a find out karte hain put an equal to sign then write down m i n min within bracket see you can write down can you see this it is showing you the syntax of the formula min brackets mein you can see number 1 number 2 then dot 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 so you can choose the numbers like this you can select your cell put a comma then select the next cell comma next cell comma next cell comma again next comma next comma and next close the bracket okay so this is the another way of using the max and min function earlier for finding out the highest total i chose the entire range of cells and for finding the min i chose the cells individually okay we are pressing enter to see the output and here you can see the lowest total is 301 all right so that's all about this question the final uh, step was save the worksheet as marks so i am going to file and then i am clicking on save as because i already saved this file with the with some name so i am just changing the name i am choosing the location desktop and i am writing marks okay and that's it click on save and you can see the name of the file has changed now the name is marks all right children so that's all in this video i hope you would have understood this entire question and you'll be able to solve it yourself thank you so much for watching bye bye and keep learning